Hey guys, Trick here, hope you're having a good one. Over a year ago, I gave y'all a sneak peek as to how well the Steam Deck is going to play in docked mode. Well, I finally managed to get a third party Steam Deck dock and I've been putting it through its paces. So today I figured it's a great time to go and revisit that older video and share with you guys the five things to keep in mind when running your Steam Deck in docked mode. The first thing to double check is make sure your Steam Deck is running at the right resolution. If you've updated your system firmware over the last couple months or so, it should have these settings automatically set, but there's a couple places you want to double check to make sure it matches your external monitor. First up is the display's resolution. Open up the options menu, go over to the display settings, and make sure you set auto set resolution to off. For me, I like to set my monitor's resolution and refresh rate just to make sure that there's no funny business going on on the back end. Next is the game resolution. Choose the game you want to play, open up the properties menu, and then check out the game resolution. It should show default here, but make sure it's selected to native. If it's set to default, the game will run at 800p, which will be upscaled to whatever your external monitor's resolution is, which is not ideal for dock mode. But if you put it into native mode, it will go to your monitor's native resolution and and everything will look super nice. As we discussed in our Steam Deck optimization series, FSR or Fidelity FX Super Resolution is an excellent tool to upscale the 720p or 800p Steam Deck display all the way up to your external monitor. But keep in mind, FSR has its quirks. As always, if your game supports native FSR, be it FSR 1.0 or 2.0, I highly recommend you use the in-game settings. Go into your game's menus, set your output to the monitor's native resolution, then select your FSR setting that matches your performance and quality target. If your game doesn't natively support FSR, you can always rely on SteamOS's GameScope feature, but I found it to be a little problematic. To verify we've got it set up right, hit the quick access menu, go over to the performance tab, and then make sure your overlay is set to level four. Next, go in game and select a resolution below your monitor's native resolution. After that, you might see the screen flicker, but you should be able to confirm that FSR is on if you look up at the top left. If it doesn't come on, you might have to change your display from full screen to borderless window or the other way around in order to get FSR working. In my testing, I saw this happen with both Forza Horizon 5 and Cyberpunk 2077. And what's really interesting here is that I actually see worse performance when using the FSR through GameScope. In Forza Horizon 5 at 4K, we see about a 9 percentage point drop when turning on FSR. At 1440p, that translates into a 16% performance drop. At 1080p, we're only at about 14%, and going with 720p with FSR, we drop from 62 FPS to about 54. Now, looking at Cyberpunk, you might think these numbers are completely unplayable, and you'd be exactly right, but it still does show the fact that turning on FSR inside of GameScope itself does drop our performance by just a bit. Despite the performance loss, I really do think that the ability to upscale from a lower resolution to your native monitor resolution is just really hard to pass up, especially in docked mode on the Steam Deck. Now, a word of caution. Beware of running your Steam Deck on docked mode with a 4K panel, such as a TV screen or a computer monitor. Retro and indie games should run pretty well at 4K native resolutions, but if they don't perform as well like I saw with Hades, you can always go down to f at least 1440p, but I found, for Hades at least, running at 1800p gets us to that capped 60fps. Next, of course, is make sure your monitor can support 4K at 60fps, because it doesn't work in all instances. For my 27-inch LG 4K monitor, I had to go into the menu, picture settings, and then adjust the picture quality to enable the HDMI Ultra HD deep color option. Of course, your mileage may vary, and also be cautious of what kind of dock you're using. I actually was using uh, this little cheap Amazon one, and I wasn't able to get the 60 FPS out of my monitor. By upgrading to a better third-party dock, I was able to finally get 60 FPS unlocked. And obviously, we have to be realistic of our expectations, and not everything is going to play or upscale to 4K as well as we would hope. So don't feel bad if you have to go back to the display options and select 1080p. 4K and 1080p work out mathematically pretty well, so your experience should be pretty good. All right, let's get to the good news. 
Guys, it's finally time to embrace 720p. Now I know the Steam Deck runs natively at 800p, but it's gonna be able to play 720p just fine and you'll actually get better performance than a native Steam Deck experience. So guys, lean into FSR and check out those different quality modes. On a 4K display, you're gonna be using a setting that's roughly below performance mode, but even if that does sound bad, when upscaling to 4K displays, I find that most of these modes actually look pretty well from FSR's perspective. At 1440p, you're gonna be using effectively performance mode, which again, shouldn't look all that bad, but keep in mind, the scaling factors are a lot more tight compared to 4K, so even going to the balance setting at 1506 by 847 or so, that's gonna be roughly comparable to an 800p screen. So again, I think upscaling is gonna look just fine there. Now, for those of you going to a 1080p screen, you're going to be effectively using quality mode, which is one of the recommended settings that I have been using for my Steam Deck recommendations for quite a long time. Given 720p is within our recommended ranges for a lot of these different monitors, I think upscaling on the Steam Deck in docked mode is going to look pretty darn good. Now, before we get to number one, I got some honorable mentions. I've gotten a lot of requests here on the channel wanting to know how to dive a little bit more deeper into customizing the Steam Deck experience. And guys, now that we're in docked mode, I highly recommend you dip your toe into Linux. Go ahead and swap on over into desktop mode and get your hands dirty. Now, if you guys want me to give you kind of a how-to 101 series when it comes to using Linux on the Steam Deck, I think docked mode is a great opportunity. So let me know down in the comments if that's something you guys want me to check out. Besides that, I highly recommend you guys invest in a quality Steam Deck dock. Now, I have been running this, what's it called? Uh, Lee Morelli. It's rated for 4K60, but like I mentioned earlier, it can't actually display 4K60 out. Uh, it does have a network jack, which is really nice, but it's really flimsy and not a very good, you know, dock, right? So I highly recommend y'all pick up a quality dock to put your Steam Deck in. I picked up the JSOX dock, and overall, it's been a pretty decent experience. I'll post a link down in the description to the Amazon listing. It's not an affiliate link or any of that, but I do think it's a pretty decent one. All right, last but not least is, of course, performance. Now, I've tested all of these on my 4K60 monitor and tested all of the different resolutions. And rather than bore you guys with my voice over a bunch of different charts, I'll put some gameplay here on the screen and give you guys a little bit of a montage.
And well guys, that's all I have to say about the Steam Deck in docked mode. Overall, it's a pretty fluid experience from a user's standpoint, minus of course some of the quirks we mentioned, but I think the performance has been spot on with what we mentioned over a year ago. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll have a great day. Check me out over on Twitter, Discord, all the links are down in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.